What's up, nerds? Please ignore the robe, I forgot to do laundry this week. It's a long story. But if there's a few things everyone can agree on is the world is flat, pineapple totally belongs on pizza, and Escape from Tarkov is not a game for beginners. So how about we go ahead and do something about that Escape from Tarkov thing, not the pineapple or the planet, that's out of my hands. One of you absolute maniacs slide into my Discord, link is in the description. And because I have nothing better to do than read your ridiculous messages, please do not message me. I will read them. He dropped a bombshell. Tarkov has player position data in the screenshot. Yeah, that's right. Who knew? Huh? No, really, did anybody knew this? What does this mean? Normally, when you take a screenshot in Tarkov, it's just a picture. We don't care about that. The juicy stuff is in the name of the picture because, wait for it, it stores the player position at the time that the screenshot is taken, their angular rotation, and some other numbers at the end. And you're probably thinking, the huh? fuck? what the fuck am I supposed to do with this information? Well, buds, you know what they say when life gives you in-game coordinates, you make a minimap. All right, kids, can you guess the first three things we need to make a minimap for this game? Type it on the comment sections. Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right. Chloroform, duct tape, and ah oh shit, this is the wrong list. Damn it, I did it again. Here's the right one. A 2D image of the map and some icons for the player and loot items. So while I was looking for this image of the maps, I found this website, Tarkov.dev, a literal jackpot, including the locations for every item in the map, the images of the map themselves and their map coordinates. Look at this. This is a label that tracks the coordinates of your mouse using real in-game units. Like, what the f***? It's just too easy. After downloading all the images of the maps, we need the markers and their coordinates in the map for their corresponding maps. So, I wrote this script. I did this by enabling all the markers in the map and running a little script that will cycle through the marker elements and the simulate the mouse position on each element. Now, this is when this lifesaver of a label comes in. Since it displays the position of the mouse in world coordinates, we just access the class and copy the position data. Now we have all the maps, all the markers, and the relative position for each map. Now, since there are like 1200 lines of code for this minimap, buddy, all you need to know is it's just a minimap, really. So I'm going to speed run this and show you the malware. Oops, I mean the software. Checkboxes with its own icon. So pretty, right? Add a nice bar to hide and unhide the markers. You don't know how to use it. Too stupid. Uh, marker on, marker off. Maps options. Choose the map. Go ahead, I'll wait. Options. Hotkeys. Make sure you set the ping my position hotkey to be the same as your screenshot. Hotkey. I like using caps as the hotkey. Then preferences. This is for playing with friends and sharing ping locations. Let's be honest, you probably don't have any. I will explain later how it works. Finally, ping window for those that are broke and can't afford two monitors. Just ping on top. Gaming in Windows mode, you might not get banned. Simply as it is. Choose the map you want to play on and ping your location. It shows you on the map. Now, you might have seen this button. Wait a minute, dude. What is this? You didn't explain this. As some of you already know, thanks to my patrons, I'm able to build things like this. I don't like charging for those things I build, but unfortunately, I rely on those Patreon members. And the majority of them have been leaving on the welcome survey that they want exclusive work from the creator. And they don't have much to account for exclusivity. So with this minimap, I made it so Patreon members will have exclusive access to all those maps. But don't despair. If you want to use it, you still can. You get access to this map regardless of your Patreon status. But if you want to support me and get exclusive access from now to the future, I made the lowest tier possible. It will be a limited one, so you better hurry. The auth page consists of three different scripts. When you click to unlock, it will send you to the API auth page of Patreon. After it, it will generate a code for your user using your auth code for Patreon. And we have saved that so we can verify you. 
Once it is done, you can copy the code and paste it into your code window. Click OK. That would launch the verification process and that should unlock the rest of the maps for you. Quick disclaimer, I don't know how the devs of Tarkov are going to take it. I have been using it for a few days now and I haven't been banned. Since it's not a cheat, it just reads the name of the screenshots. But my guess is this might just get patched, so you better hurry up. And it's safe to say I don't make myself accountable for anyone that gets banned. I, again, I still don't think you're going to get banned, but whatever. So how about we go in the game? Respawn together? We gotta fucking yeah. Kill him. Well, that's nice. Drop them. You gotta give, give you got give yourselves a ping real quick. Uh, change your settings and give yourselves a ping. Yeah, it works. Hey, wait, wait, I don't see you. Oh, I got a ping again. I'm sorry. There you go. Oh, those icons look so bad. Leaves I, I forgot to mention this in the video, but it leaves a red line from the areas that you've been through. So you know what you've looted and what you haven't. Oh, there's also markers. At the beginning of each match, I re actually recommend you guys to uh, go ahead and go into your map and find your extraction points. If you're playing solo, uh, in this case, because there's only like one extraction point, but you go to the location you want and right click and then add marker. And that will draw a line between you and that marker. And essentially, you can see the distance between uh, you and that extraction point. In this case, it looks like 940 meters, which is about, um, it's about like, I like to say like nine minutes of a run, give it a take. It's about a minute every 100 meters. So there you have it. So like I said, in your screenshot settings, you want to have change the, uh, the print screen, uh, print screen one to be caps and then change the other one to have like a like number one for example like key one because if i want to ping a loot like i go like hey michael i found an ak-47 or whatever here it is and then i ping it right once you update the screen next time you'll see uh a uh a uh a loot bag there are you shooting scabs <laughs> i don't know i don't play oh, yes, this no, I see you. Yeah. you aggro of the scab man come on no, he was walking to you. He was about to shoot you anyways. No, they're not that. Yeah. They're not like that. They're not mean. Oh, that's guy behind you. Wait, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if you would have pinged your location, I would have known it was you. I think it's, there's a guy. Yeah, there's the player for sure. Yeah. Goddamn traitor! Hello! You got him? Yeah, he's dead. Yo, these men dropped him, dude. Just dropped. Can I have his gun? It looks like he's got a sight. Yeah, just take whatever. I don't need to. I just, it's just my gun sucks, dude. It's like the default one. He's got a hug. Oh, look at his armor too, dude. I'm gonna take the mags though. So I need the mags for the hug. Got a yep. sausage on his backpack. Hold up, let me check this real quick. Check this real quick. Are you an idiot sandwich? Tell you what, though, it's kind of nice having a having a <laughs> a secret service team. Just like, you don't mind if I eat some sausage real quick? It's my sausage. You eating my sausage? What the, <laughs> dude? You do not fuck with another man sausage, man. Cause like, you don't have to know. It's extraction or anything. Well, we successfully extracted. <laughs> yeah, no. If you if you guys been pinging through the through the entirety of the map, you can see that you know all the the areas that you essentially went through, and then where you spawned and all the areas you covered on the map. I'm trying to plan this because I wanted to like show you guys and I wanted um, Sergeant to see it because he he was pretty much the one with the idea, you know. So yeah, yeah. I wanted him to try it out. What do you think? Uh, ten, on a ten out of ten scale, what do you think? Ten, that's ten. that's the that's the right choice. You made you made the right call there. <laughs> I was about to pull the trigger, man. I'm sorry. No, but uh, all right. See you guys then.